Okay. Morning, Rayhan and Mark. <laughs> Even <laughs> Rayhan started with me alone. Um, week three, I will talking about indexing and subject heading system. All right. If you come from outside, I mean outside the library world, you may you 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 will get confused about subject headings. Index is okay. Index for you. And now for the new generation, they're talking about tag, uh, tagging system, right? Uh, it's uh, similar to indexing. Yeah. But in the library world, we have some kinds of jargon we call subject heading. And if you say the heading come from, you know, long, long time ago, maybe 50 years ago, <laughs> we use a card index, index card. Yeah, card index. Uh -huh in the cards and we divide the index card into three types and <laughs> author card yeah. yeah author card um you know title card title card and then <laughs> subject headings card subject -headings. yeah that's why subject on on the head <laughs> subject on the head of the card that's the way we say it now subject headings and it's you know becomes a uh, common terms for the rivalians now, it's hard to change. <laughs> Even the new, maybe we got new terms now, like a you know taxonomy, but we still use the word classification, right? <laughs> in, in in the library and information science or information studies. But I would say, Rehan, you and Mark, I think you prefer when when you search any kind of information on the internet, you prefer free terms. You know the free terms. Um, free term. What, what what does it mean, sir? Um, the free terms. I mean, the words that come from directly come from the text. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the terms used by user or terms used by the authors. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a free term, right? I mean, whoever authors or users can can use the term that they, they prefer. And, oh yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's just like a keyword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rehan. Keyword. Yeah. Okay, the keywords, right, right. And we, you know, we get used to, I mean, Google, googling something by using keywords. Right? Keyword. Whatever does happen in your mind, and you just key on the keyboard, and you know, got some results. <laughs> it's a maybe it's. It's okay, or maybe it's not right for you when, when, when you get the results right from the Google. And you know, this is uh keywords, right? But in the yeah. yeah, but in the library and information science perspective, sometimes we need to, as you say, control, <laughs> control the words or control the terms or even keywords. You know what I mean? Because we oh, have yeah. a variety use of each word. I think yeah, in yeah. Indonesian language, they, they as well, right? I mean, we call the same thing with different words. Yeah, right? it's, it's yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah we, we got the same situation, right? Or even, yeah, you stay in the apartment, but the apartment is come, you know, come from the USA. Uh, American English, right? Apartment, and and but in British, they say flat. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Any kind like that. So that's why you and me, we call the same thing. Maybe sometimes with different words or different terms. That's why, you know, in information studies, we you know, we are trained to to control the terms we use. And, you know, uh, let me say sometimes they call uh, vocabulary control. Yes. <laughs> We control the word, we control the vocab. Control by who? 
controlled by library and information professionals. And we ask uh, subject specialists, we ask subject experts in the field of the study, right? So when you try to create words for searching chemistry information, maybe you have to, to, to ask uh, the chemist, uh, chemist for help, for their help, right? So that's why we, we, we need to control any kinds of vocabulary. And, you know, for the general people, they call indexing. But in the library context, they use the word subject heading system. Yeah. So uh, this week, we learn about how to control the vocabulary that we use. <laughs> not for not for us, but for the user and even the future user, you know. Are you saying Rehan, you have uh, some kinds of uh, maybe uh, I'm not use a good word, the evolution of Indonesian language. Ah, we yeah, have yeah. Uh, some in Indonesian words have been influenced from English, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, it can, and then it absorbed to our uh, dictionary. Mm -hmm. It will be the, the our uh, new oh, yeah. term in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so they use some kind of, eh, similar to Thailand. So we use we oh, use our combined English word, right? To our oh, to our yeah. <laughs> and you know, but our our challenge, I mean, for library and information professionals, it means how we can keep you know control the vocabulary longer, and you know, but but still the the next generation still accept this word. You know what I mean? <laughs> now there's as a big gap between the previous generation and you know. The current or even the next generation, they 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 didn't they can't imagine what what's something lost right in the past, and they they didn't know how how to call them or how to to use them, you know. I mean, let me give you some example. In Thailand, we have uh, some kinds of uh, sweet sweeties or even food in the past that oh, get yeah. lost. Yeah, they, they get lost, and the next generation can't. Can know they know it they know just KFC fried chicken <laughs> something like that they, they 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 can't connect to the the past and that is our challenge how to keep information about that the lost thing and for for the the next generation and they they okay if we can't find things it means they lost right <laughs> even we. We, we archive them, you know, <laughs> like uh, from Ajahnaya <laughs> say, we, we try to archive them. But if we, if we use the wrong words, we, we assign the wrong subject headings or index for any there, yeah, maybe it looks like they are lost. They are lost. We, we can't find things mean they lost. So even, even we archive it very good in, in, the, in the database, right? That's why I, I still insist that we, we have to, to learn and, you know, to develop the good practices of vocabulary control. Even, mm -hmm. you know, the computer science perspective, they say, oh, we try to teach the program or we teach the automata automation to learn and to assign index or subject headings for you automatically, right? Try to, you know, have a machine learning to learn language and assign something. But as you know, Rehan, you and me, we know that it's not just about the meaning of the word, right? It's uh, sometimes it depends on the context. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's surround, surround the words, right? It's, it's come from maybe political issues, uh, so social issues, or even economic issues. I mean, the words we use, right? We, we, we have another yeah comparison analogy that's kind of you know the, the the language that we use it's not just the meaning 
or the definition exactly what they mean, right? Or, or maybe we have a slang, right? I think yeah, a slang. They have slang yes. for teenagers, yeah. they, they know, they know well, right? <laughs> Have you they any kind of slang that's different change the meaning? Oh, um, sorry, can you can explain me. Yeah, we have a slang language like uh, some. Uh, I you know it's very difficult to to transfer uh, to, mm -hmm. to to transfer to to English, yeah, yeah. but some people um, uh, mix the Indonesian and English word. Mm -hmm. So to create a slang word, like oh, yeah, so they create a new word. By yeah, they create a new <laughs> combining word. English with, with English. Yeah, okay, so, and they <laughs> and they got specific meaning, right? For for the special group, I mean, for the specific group, they have a yeah, they have this <laughs> secret a, meaning. Special group, like yeah, like uh. uh uh, school students, uh -huh. uh, yeah, a lot of school students have uh, their uh -huh. own uh, language. Uh -huh. so, uh, so sometimes, like, and also based on the geographical, like, uh, people who live in the Jakarta, they mm -hmm. have a lot of um, we we call the Basa Gaul. This is a uh, uh -huh. it's a train language. So uh -huh. they, sometimes they are using their language rather than in. <laughs> in, in, in Indonesia in common so sometimes like I'm from outside of Jakarta uh -huh. I'm from uh, Batam uh -huh. it's uh, very uh, near to Singapore and then I uh, I took a flight to Jakarta and sometimes their people talk like wow I, I don't understand what they say <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a, a very good you know everyday life example so yeah. how about when we try to develop uh, information system or information retrieval system, right? This yeah. is really very challenging. Yeah, believe me, it is very really challenging because you know it's not about how to train the program to learn language, right? And assign index or subject headings for you, but it's about the context. Yeah, the surrounding. Yeah. Sometimes if you oh this slang was very good, very interesting, and you assign them like as a index, but five years later. It's out of date and no one knows the real meaning, right? So yeah, <laughs> becomes a rubbish, rubbish term now, right? <laughs> because no one knows uh, no one. anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no one talking about it anymore. So please be careful about yeah. To be honest, uh, even library and information professional, some of them they try to chasing, just chase, chasing changes or any kind of social chips. You know, oh. yeah, but 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 finally, it's it's gone, gone so quickly. And now, how about uh subject headings that you assign into the database, right? So it's rubbish now, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you say that, maybe it's strong word, but not good. But if you say it's useless anymore, and then, then no no one talking about it, right? So that's yeah. that's why I try to train you and Mark to to thinking carefully about. The words we assign to the system. Yeah, if we have a you know intelligence system of information that try to retrieve uh, you know uh, huge information in the database, right? But we still need to control the vocabularies as well. But depends on you as a practitioners or researchers that you control at the beginning when designing the the system. Or you just let you know what happens. It it, it depends, and you, you just you know maybe five years later, but you you realize that you need to control work average of them now, right? And you say even Google's now they have uh, some kinds of very big big uh, keyword database that that that's, they they try to you know teach the machine to learn any anything else, but they, I would say they control. They try to connect the same thing and distinguish the difference, right? Of of words. So so that's why I, I, I think it depends on you. But for our professionals, I would say we start from the beginning. When you design information system, we're just thinking about 
uh, how to control vocabularies and guarantee that user in the past, in the present, and in the future, they will think about the same thing and call the same words, or even know or realize that aware of the different kinds of words that we use. Yeah. Okay, this is the core concept that I want to, 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 to share with you from the library and information science perspective. We're talking about vocabulary control at the beginning. <laughs> That's why this is the, uh, if you say the first week of our contents, right, for this coursework. And um, Rehan, can you, uh, have you heard about Library of Congress subject heading or LCSH? Yeah, uh, I've learned it, uh, but not. Uh, uh, so a couple of years ago, uh, I went to Malaysia and met, uh, if you know, Puan Rafida Abul Aziz. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, uh, she's a uh, president of Bibliotherapy, but also uh, director of uh, Perak uh, mm -hmm. State uh, library so I, I learned from from her but I'm still I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I still I'm still I'm not sure because uh, LCSH is uh, is very alien for me <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. so I want to brief some uh, you know core concepts about library of Congress subject headings where you yeah. mark, learn later and now um, if you search on the Google now, like uh, I, I did on the screen now, we have a Library of Congress subject headings, linked data, LCSH, linked data. <laughs> okay. Yes. And you see the first results <laughs> from Google, LCSH. Yeah. Okay, LCSH. Linked data service. Linked data service. Now. It's a long, long history, right? <laughs> no need to mention about the history of library of Congress <laughs> subject heading, but yeah, yeah but but I, I I summarize for you that we, we need to control the vocabulary, um, you know, for searching and retrieving uh, information, right, and guarantee that we keep it longer and you know, uh, not you know, some kinds of useful information not lost anymore because of we, we, we use the right words and long lasting terms, right? At least in, in our lifetime, <laughs> but I don't know if this is the end. <laughs> okay. Um, So if you click on the URI, on the URI, uh, yeah. yes, the subject, and they will bring you to, you know, uh, scheme member. And I will introduce you just, just for, you know, the main, the, the, the main concept, right? They call authorized heading. You, you see the screen now and you hey. can click it down. Authorize, yeah, again, it means control, right? <laughs> we we, we yeah. control control by expert. <laughs> yeah, that is authorized headings. Uh, some experts, some subject specialists, they confirm that we can use this word, right? For, for, for the exact meaning, for the right meaning. Okay. And if you click, if you click, on the authorized subject, they will show up, you know, the recent subject headings uh, generated by Library of Congress, a lot. Yeah, quite, quite a lot, maybe 456,000 around. <laughs> yeah. And I think they will show up like uh, my screen now, right? Uh, Rehan, if you say, oh, school sports, and that dash fiction, right? And they say data set library concrete subject headings. I'll see SH. Tide is a complex subject or uh, authority. 
and they have uh, identifier like uh, you know ID number for each for each library uh, of Congress subject heading now, and you know we link we link link linking the data of subject headings by use the, this identifier, and we we will talk it later when when we are uh, talking about the future of metadata or future of you know library data. Uh, we 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 mentioned about linked data a lot. That's fine. You we can learn it later. And 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 now you you can see the label right. They got that school sport yeah. and friction. Um, school sport is the main subject. This is the main subject. School sports, right? We we play sport in school, <laughs> like a football. Uh, badminton, some kinds of that, and we have uh, some kinds of traditional sport in our school, right? <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> we, we have uh, separate you from the color you use, right? Red team, yellow team, green team, <laughs> um, and that dash and fiction. Fiction is, uh, how you say, it? how yeah. to represent the content yeah. right? with fiction. Yeah, good. So we say this is uh subdivision of subject so uh, let me drawing something right? spot school spot is a uh, main subject okay and fiction will be Subdivision okay. subdivision and actually at this moment the there's a some kind of content representation. Okay. Why I say this is a control vocabulary because general audience or general user they didn't <laughs> retrieve or search this term right Sp yeah. school sports that dash fiction <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> and they say they, they just keep the t terms separately right school yeah. sports and fiction and fiction right <laughs> on google's <laughs> that's why this is uh i would say subject heading system you know uh created and you know suggested by library information professional but for the long term in the long run i think it's a very good idea because why if you try to search everything about school sports and then we have some kinds of subdivision right to help you you say the detail aspect you say that and yeah the detailed aspect of school sports you know but trust me, I think Rehan, you can agree with me that's that's just uh, not the word that general user they use. <laughs> School sports, that dash fiction, right? But no, they need a one on two, uh, it's very really quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh even you know the third one, uh Costa Rica country names can be subject headings, you know, geographical subject heading, you know, Costa Rica, and then have a subdivision history. Three. Yeah, but yeah, and sub subdivision again, the, oh, the a chronological order. Yes, so why we have a dash 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 syntax? Because for retrieving the information about Costa Rica, we want to, you know, gather or collect everything about Costa Rica. So for reference librarian or, you know, user, you know, service librarian, sometimes they uh, want to help user to collect uh, bibliography or references about Costa Rica, and they will use, you know, subject heading syntax like this to do that thing. But 
don't be afraid because every time when we want to assign subject heading, you need to consult this database first. Mm -hmm. I mean, in English world. <laughs> yeah, in, in English world. And yeah, and then we uh, try to translate or transform into our you know, native language, right? Or official language in our country. Me too. Um, so every time when we think about the words what you want to assign to, you know, to information for searching and retrieving purpose, sometimes you, you, you have to consult with Library of Congress subject headings database first, right? Because it's uh, the biggest one <laughs> that we can control the vocabulary or English terms that they use. Right? Okay. And okay. again, they have an identifier of each. Oh, Rehan, any queries or any question? Um, yeah, because uh, uh, I, uh, okay, I, I understand about the main subject, subdivision, okay. and mm -hmm. sub subdivision is the, because the, uh, it derived from the, we have read the, the, the content, right? So yeah. I think uh, I'm I'm quite understand because it's is the similar uh, to the DDC. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So, yeah. So so yeah, I'm 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 re rethinking again and then so oh okay okay <laughs> I understand. Oh, Rehan, you make a point. And you say, uh, the process of assigning Dewey decimal classification. And the process of assigning subject headings with Larry of Congress subject heading system is the same process. Yeah. yeah good. Oh, it's the process. Yeah, yeah, it's the same process. Yeah, good. So we have to, I'm not, as you say, I, we have to read uh, the contents of, you know, information contents, right? To know yeah. exactly, if you say, the core concept or the, the main yeah. message. Of, yeah. of information, right? And you try to assign the DDC, yeah. but they represent the content as uh, numbers, right? Meanwhile, I mean, subject headings, they represent the meaning as uh, terms. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. yeah they, 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 but we have similar process at the same time. And you make a very good point. In library, uh, many librarians, they assign subject headings first because they, they, they got the language, right? Yeah. Okay, language terms. And then they, after they, they, they catch uh, the real meaning or the main message of, of the content or information content now, they just assign the e decimal classification. And then and, and do the same thing at, at, at the same time. Me too. <laughs> but the hardest thing of Dewey assignment sometimes is because each book has only one number. Yeah. Only, only one, one call number. It's very hard now at the moment, right? <laughs> because even, you know, even popular books, they have, uh, you know, uh, content many, many contents, you know, contain many contents. In in, in in that book, yeah, right, like a romantic comedy, um, you know, tragedy and thriller together. It's very hard to assign call number only once. <laughs> but yeah, for subject, only once. <laughs> yeah, but for such a heading, it's okay. The more you assign, um, the more chance that user can can search and find uh, information they want. <laughs> so so it's. It's uh, the same process, but different output and outcome as well. Yeah, thank you to, to, to rest this yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. And again, I have to, you know, they, they call the complex subject because we have a that dash <laughs> school sport, yeah. that dash, yeah, they, they have a, you know, complex subject. 
Uh -huh. But anyway, don't get me wrong. Anyway, we have a lot of uh, you know simple. <laughs> it's one <Okay>. word. <laughs> still, still got there, and have a you know geographic name or personal name. Yeah, can can be subject headings as well, right? Uh, you know, famous writers, famous uh, uh any and I mean poet, uh, any kinds of you know authors, very well known. Right, like a Nobel Prize winner. Sometimes we have a personal name as subject headings as well. So, but everything we learn at the moment now, we try to control vocabulary by consulting or rely on Library of Congress subject headings database to 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 help you as a starting point when you assign subject headings. Why? 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 Why heavily rely on Library of Congress subject, subject heading. Why? Why, why, why not uh, you know, create our own database? <laughs> because, yeah, because no, we, we try to, you know, maybe I'm not 100% right, but I would say we try to control them. So we try to standardize any kinds of subject heading because you and me, we can, you know, have a hundred year life, right? We, we have to, you know, have a standard diadem to guarantee that we assign long lasting term. At least our lifetime, right? <laughs> we, 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 we can keep it longer and, you know, at least bring, uh, let me say, more valuable, uh, very useful information from the past and bring, it, bring them to the next generation. This is uh, our responsibility, or uh, our mission, right, for library information professionals. Okay, you know uh, the ideas of you know library of Congress subject heading system now, right? Um, I will say uh, I need a short break for five minutes, and we will get back to our last session. Right? <laughs> okay. I will pause the recording. Start recording again. So when uh, after we learn the library subject heading system now, so it's time to you know practice what you learn by you know doing some exercise. So let me explain our homework on Google Classroom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we have a you know a quiz, easy quiz on Google Classroom, <laughs> and I already assign you and mark and do that should be the thirty of August as well. <laughs> Remember our first assignment? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, have you question. have to analyze the, uh, the database. Based oh, yeah. on five questions. Right. Five questions. Oh, yeah. Five, five questions. Is it based on, on, only on LAM or on, 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 only on a LAM theme? Yeah. Or oh, yeah. Under... On, it oh, depends oh, on you. On, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I have uh, read uh, several uh, documents related to uh, organizing system. Oh, yeah. It's not only yeah not only in the not library uh, information yeah, yeah is only like a restaurant uh, yeah yeah so it depends on your interest yeah oh, beyond okay. the, the lamp sector maybe it's quite okay. interesting right? rather than yeah <laughs> rather than the lamp sector only sure, sure. Okay, so. why not <laughs> okay get back to <laughs> our Quiz, you know, <laughs> second homework. So, um, have a look. Um, it's not Google Forms as usual, but we, I, I just, you know, have a pick up some kinds of exercise from the book that you try to, you know, assign subject headings. And again, please use uh, Library of Congress subject headings or LCSH. 
linked data service, right? Uh, the link that I show you on the screen in the first session. But yeah. it's okay. It's, again, you, you, you can Google it with LCSH. Yeah, linked data. And please consult or rely on that standard first. And to be honest, I mean, when you try to organize academic knowledge, that academic knowledge is quite easy, right? Because especially for the topic and the title of information is say you the main message directly, right? No, no, you know, no, no, drama, no dramatic, no any kind of confused words. They, they just say directly, right? The main message to the audience, what, what we want to communicate with the contents they, they use. So, um, in this exercise, you using LCSH, you use LCSH and provide the subject headings that best represents the following topics. So, as Rehan uh, uh, mentioned about, you know, the process of DOE call number uh, creation and, you know, uh, subject headings assign, assigning sometimes it's the same process. So, when you uh, read the main message that communicated by you know the authors you try to extract the main topic but unfortunately for DOE uh, call number construction you need construct only or build up only one call number right but for oh, subject headings yeah. <laughs> but for uh, uh, LCSH or subject headings no need to focus only one <laughs> heading oh. you, you, you can assign as more as you know in relation to the main message or main contents of of the information right this is it's okay and in the past we also you say maybe uh at least three subject heading oh three subject heading yeah oh, per, it's, per it's, item it's, per item I, I mean books for books but, but yeah. for digital Images or digital contents maybe is uh, quite different. Depends on oh. so it depends on the, the the real meaning or the real content of, of information. Okay, and for this exercise, we just give you a main topic already, right? And you just assign uh, subject headings from you know LCSH database. Uh, as you can see, even you know the topic, but it doesn't matter, right? We, 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 oh, the C, so subject heading is the C. No, <laughs> it's not because <laughs> the C is quite general words, right? We have um, water, uh, ocean, some kind, yeah, that does that include the topic of the C. So you have to rely on the standardized terms. Yeah, from from LCSH, like uh, you know, children as actors is a topic, right? But no need to use, maybe I don't know. Is that kid star? Is it, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kid star yeah. or shy star? I don't know. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know. So you have to consult LCSH first and assign, you know, the controlled vocabularies that they use. I uh, suggest you to use. <laughs> okay. Any questions you wanna ask um, me? No. So the the topic is not the title, right? So yeah, not not the title. Uh, okay, because uh, on a DV decimal, we like uh, we search on the the title, and then mm -hmm. we we search the the topic. Yeah. So I like uh, like uh, is a funny thing like the title is a, the the, uh, the title is dead man so yeah I, we don't know about the the, <laughs> the subject heading <laughs> what the subject of the dead man uh -huh. so uh, i i i come to the library and mm -hmm. search it for the dead uh, the book about dead man and then <laughs> like, oh this is um fiction book so yeah it's a class to uh 600 or 700 so just yeah it. so is yeah. it uh so is it different, not not the title, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You make a point, Rehan. I mean, especially fiction. Especially fiction, sometimes it's uh, 
their titles or their yeah their their, their book titles is quite easily disguise you <laughs> <laughs> or, or you can yeah easily get confused about the title because they, they didn't show up you know it's, it looks like a catchy you know catchy the the readers or the audience right but no nonsense for nonfiction or academic knowledge as I say <laughs> so sometimes you can see the topic right from keywords that appear in the title easily it, it's yeah. quite you know yeah it, it's, it's more apparent <laughs> to 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 see that the keywords are the topic from the title I mean in the context like, like Rayhan says like you can't do this with fiction books like a novels uh you know films uh even side of entertainment media right it's it's not easy <laughs> to assign subject headings for for that kind of you know entertainment media because it's sometimes it's a marketing campaign or <laughs> catching you know yeah the audience right try, 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 try to persuade the audience but for academic knowledge like a journal article uh boring written work <laughs> like a non-fiction yeah serious thing that this is okay like 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 a, our exercise they, they just it's quite easy to extract the main topic from the title right and then maybe it's a, yeah many times that we can find is a keyword appear in the title already right? <laughs> it's quite it's not not hard or very difficult to do that thing and again for exercise 3.2 uh again now they test you up uh, for exercise 3.1 you assign only one subject heading only oh, one only subject one. heading oh, yeah so for I, exercise 3.1 yeah okay okay for mark as well <laughs> sorry for exercise 3.1 you assign only one subject. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> only one subject. Yeah. For exercise three point one, but for exercise three point two, now it looks like uh you know we try to assign more than. <laughs> Uh, more than one subject heading for exercise 3.2. Okay, I have to draw on the screen now. Exercise 3.2. You can, you know, in some instances, so in some questions, the answer may require more than one heading. I think, so be careful. <laughs> uh -huh. And again, I have to mention the Ray Han Sisu again. For call number or UE or LC number, we assign only one number, right? Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But for so subject it, heading, you can assign more than one. So, okay. so uh, I have a question, sir. So mm -hmm. it's only subject heading, not, not the call number, right? Sir? Yeah, not, not, not the call number. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it make you confused again. Okay. <laughs> but for SSI 3.2, some question, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe require more than on uh, one, one heading. Yeah, be oh, careful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But if only one headings no no need to squeeze your brain to to find <laughs> another one <laughs> another yeah it's, it's fine it's okay right okay so yeah again Rehan, you make a point sometimes when i work as a library catalogers or even you know when i'm graduate student and our teachers teach you how to assign call number or even library conference subject heading and i will say the course the course it means they teach us what is right or wrong call number or right oh. or wrong headings right 
Yes, it's a curse for me too. <laughs> because you know, <laughs> when 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 you assign with confidence, you know, you because you you read yeah uh, the, de the details, right? Every details of the of the book, and you try to you know uh, extract the main message that the authors try to communicate to the audience, right? And you know, transform them into call number and even subject headings now, and they just you know correct your exercise with yeah. another with another number or with another subject, subject heading, right? heading that's i would say yeah for 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 study it's okay because they want to grading your performance right grading your, your work but in real life I, I, I think it's not good it's not good that's just why my exercise or my homework, I try to, okay, I will rely on Library of Congress Subject Heading Database to create your score, right? But in the real life, no, because there are no 100% right or wrong subject heading, right? It depends, again, it depends on the context or uh, group of users and actually in the future as well, right? Yeah. We, 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 when we assign subject heading, we just focus on the information or the topic in front of you, right? At the moment, in front of you. And we try to look for uh, suitable terms or uh, suitable subject headings and assign them and send them to send them to the teacher. And that's it. Our job is done. But in real life, no. You just think, me too. I just realized that maybe 10 years ago that we have to think about a decade of information use, right? Yeah. So we have guaranteed a long lasting term that like, we have to think too much. And I would say it's acceptable if you can get back to the record or the items and revise subject headings or call number that you assign. But, but it's impossible because there are many, many number of collections, right? In library, archive, and museum. So if you have only one chance in your life to assign suitable subject headings or even call numbers, please do it perfectly as well as you can because you have never ever have a chance again to get back. <laughs> not, not, not you are lazy, no, no, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's, it's quite a lot of numbers, a lot of records, right? Metadata records that you, as you say, it's impossible for you to get back and revise some subject, subject headings, right? And again, trust me, no right or wrong subject heading. It's just suitable for your user and suitable for future use. This is okay. That, 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 that's, that's our answer in real life. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I will learn it. It's, it's, it's quite a challenging and exciting for me. Exciting thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clap. Me too. When, when I'm a cataloger, maybe 20 years ago, I'm still Whoa. young. <laughs> And I, I try to execute my job every day, you know, 20 or 30 books per day to assign subject headings or even call numbers. Terrible and very hard job. But anyway, I, I just focus on the books in front of me, in, in my hands, right? But now, when I got a, a good opportunity to share my experience, I would say, don't do that. Just thinking about your user in the past, in the present and in the future, right? So you, not right or wrong, don't blame yourself. Don't try to excuse, you know, excuse yourself, I'm not a good cataloger, I'm not, no, you just serve your user well, right? Whatever, whatever responsibility for you in, in, in the LAMP sector or even other organizations, right? That, that's fine. As, especially we have a, if you graduate from, you know, information study program, you have a DNA, of library information profession, right? Yeah. At least I would say that uh, control vocabulary or vocabulary control. 
I don't think it's the computer side. They didn't teach you that. <laughs> they has okay. <laughs> use uh keywords, free term, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, for information study, I, I train you and I teach you about the context, right? About the language, about how how social change or you know economic shift or any kinds of technological uh, aspect that affect your your subject headings or call numbers that you assign. Uh, that's it for our homework instruction. <laughs> Good luck for you. <laughs> um, and I will recommend you uh, that. Uh, classified copy passes on the chat box I wanna supplement my 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 points that I, I mentioned about there's a uh, no right or wrong answer when you assign subject headings or even call numbers. And now we have a uh, social intelligence. <laughs> we share uh, library databases, right, among the library members. And I I want to introduce you, uh, Rehan and Mark, to and a product from OCRC they call classify. Classify. Anyway, the, the, the concept of classify is they try to, you know, collect uh, library members databases around the world and, you know, how to and show up um, call number or subject heading that's, I we say, there are differences, a very, very big differences they use. Just right hand say, you and Ajahn Sumsak may be thinking about different call number, even in the same title, right? Same book title, but but we have different call number. It's possible. You say it's possible in real life, not in classroom, right? <laughs> it's a nightmare to think about uh, right or wrong, but in the real life, it's possible. It's, it's possible. So I want to confirm my assumption that it's possible or it's acceptable to have variety of call number for the same title or the same topic, right? So this is a, a very good source, a very good source of, you know, uh, when you teach your students or even chat with your colleagues about subject headings we assign, uh, do we decimal classification that we assign is suitable or you know similar to our colleagues around the world? And you say that uh, again. Twenty years ago, when I worked as a cataloging uh, librarian, is uh, my nightmare. I, I don't. Yeah, you know, we 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 have a habit that we need teachers to you know to answer us, this is right or wrong subject headings, right? <laughs> when, I, when I start or be, begins my cataloging job. And now with the advancement of technology, so now we can learn our colleagues around the world that the same title, what kinds of subject headings or what call numbers, do we call numbers that they assign? But the same title of book that we hold or we own in our library as well at the same time, right? So you can check and recheck subject heading or call numbers that we assign with classify now. So uh, Rehan and Mark just try something about you know search title and author, right? Uh, the title. Da Vinci Code, 
Okay, <laughs> that means she could. Okay, and you search something. And you click maybe on the first one, the Da Vinci Code, a novel. And you can see, uh, Rehan and Mark, you can see the DDC. <laughs> the DDC does have a, you know, class number. Wow. I don't say, I mean, uh, the popularity or popular call number, this is correct number. Don't get me wrong. I, I I don't mean that that's popular call number is the right now call number, right? No, but actually you just have this classified database to guide you to, I mean, suitable call number for your library or library community, right? Of a library user or in other sector as well. So. <laughs> This is a very, very good source for you to check uh, subject headings or even call numbers. Yes. And they say, oh, most frequent. Most frequent is 813.54. So <laughs> if your library by the uh, Vichy code, to serve the readers in the library. So no need to have an original call number, right? You just run, <laughs> okay, 813554. It's okay, save your time. And you just spend more time on subject headings, right? Why? Yeah. Because Rehan, I guarantee, I'm, I'm totally sure you never ever retrieve or search library database with call number right <laughs> no no it's joking no no one even me oh. even the cataloger right <laughs> <They never laughs> retrieve information with call number but we retrieve or search or find information with keywords as you say keywords. or subject heading Yes. So please spend more time to, to, you know, create and revise and make it better. Make, make subject headings or key terms or, you know, index, whatever you call better, rather than focus on call number, right? It best your time. Yes. <laughs> so um, maybe I'm, I'm not, I use strong words, but, but that, that's, that's true. <laughs> so if you have Da Vinci Code and Nobel, uh, in your library and you, 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 you want to save your time, you don't, you don't know a call number that you assign by yourself is, you know, fit or even similar to our colleagues around the world. Maybe you can get to the classified database and see most frequent call number, right? 813.44 or 54. That's, that is a very good checking source you say that and they have a dashboard right dashboard. Yeah. and again Rehan even you never learn about library congress classification or LCC you still check or <laughs> oh, learn, yeah. learn the basic of library congress classification with this real example right so have a look. So, wow, <laughs> Rehan, you have a, you know, you you have a, a box on your head now. <laughs> <laughs> so me too. I just said, oh, this is, uh, you know, LC. They always use uh, oh, sorry, PN. Yeah. <laughs> now you can uh, learning the basic of library congress classification so we can easily guess right or lovely guess that maybe a novel or you know 
suspicion novel, something like that, you can say, oh, it's PN. It should be PN. But it's your homework to, to, to study further, right? How to, you know, D45 means, I will say Da Vinci. <laughs> I guess it's Da Vinci, D45. <laughs> it's a cutter number. Number. I, you said it's food of thought, but, but never mind. It's a, yeah, D45 is cutter number. Cutter number. D45 is cutter number. So you can learn that, oh, DDC is 813.54. And at the meantime, in the meantime, you have a LCC or Library of Congress classification, most frequent number is PN. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is, yeah, your job. <laughs> so, and you know, the cutter number, uh, let me explain briefly. Um, you know, like a Da Vinci code, we have a similar strong or similar content, right? Yeah. This is, uh, I would say, uh, bestsellers books that's kind of bestseller so we have many you know many suspicious or thriller or detective uh, content of, of that fiction right so uh, we have it's possible to have the same call number you know what I mean the call number like a uh, 813 or even pn6120 is possible. I mean, different uh, book, but similar content. Different book, but similar content. <laughs> Have the same call number, right? It's possible. It's possible. So that's why, again, we have to distinguish each book. I mean, similar content, right? Each book with cutter number with cutter number that's wow. why they have uh, yeah they, they have uh, the first character of the title or the first letter of the title or even the first letter of the author to distinguish this book from the other and this is uh the way that librarian try to you know identify have an identification system of each book but for the computer side, they, they, they don't do that. <laughs> they just have a running number, right? They have a running number that, and that's it. <laughs> and, and that's it. Uh, so each sector or each perspective that has own identification system, right? To identify information. But for me, I just introduced you a brief of, you know, uh, call number, subject headings, and even they got the same uh, subject heading or same, you know, same call number, but we still have a cutter number as well to, to separate uh, the one with another. Right? So, so uh, uh, yeah, the one from the another, from another. So, so that's why I, I have it. If you feel interested in, in more details, just ask me later. Later, I, I can teach you, but but this is a you know our coursework is a I wanna give you general or broad broad view of information organization only. So that's why we just sometimes we skip some topics, right? <laughs> not, not 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 teach you in detail in more detail. And again, you can uh, know uh, a source that help you to check call number or even subject headings, right? And let me introduce something. Uh, Rehan, you make a very good point today. You, you, you're talking about, you know, subject headings. They have a subdivision, right? Do you remember yeah. uh, school sports, right? School sports, school dash, sports dash, dash, fiction. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, quite complicated, right? And they say the complex heading the complex subject, right? If you remember Laria Congress subject headings, right? they say the complex, very complex. But 
the OCR4 uh, from you know classify database they try to uh, simplify say that let me just for a mark as well um, they try to simplify they try to simplify oh sorry sorry they try to simplify the head uh l c s h heading or words sorry as rayhan says you we have a uh, you know main subject uh, subdivision like a school sports that dash fiction or Costa Rica dash that history dash that 1939 <laughs> it's quite complicated and complex and LC call this is complex type or complex subject heading that's why OCLC try to simplify LCHS terms in user's mind that's why when we search the Google we just think about as you can see now it's a simple subject heading now right this is simple subject heading now there's no dash that dash there's no comma at all right there's no inversion comma at all so they just have a you know easy term simple terms like uh okay cryptographers right because the, the main character in Da Vinci Code, he's a cryptographer. He's a cryptographer. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I spoil you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the main character. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they try to, you know, uh, and they solve the pop, uh, murder case yeah. with uh, cryptographers <laughs> from from you know a big big church <laughs> uh the vatican church and no you say grail right this is a a very important clue in the book <laughs> oh, yeah. and i don't think they have a as the sh they they will have grail as a simple uh, subject yeah. heading right but for for oclc or fan they they try to help uh, catalogers us or even us to 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 assign subject headings fast <laughs> that's why they call their product fast subject heading quite easy uh grail is to be the crew right uh, of, of of the story <laughs> add appreciation yeah it's a starting point of the story as well appreciation yeah as you can see from the book cover right they have a, <laughs> a big a very famous painting <laughs> on, the, on the book cover <laughs> they, they're talking about art education and again uh, detective and mystery stories right and uh what the point is you can use usage count to guide you and you say that rehan mark yeah this is a source to guide you guiding source not a hundred percent answer key as we said yeah. <laughs> okay so this is a usage count so sometimes the popularity is a uh, one of confirmation right it's the one of confirmation but not a hundred percent it's not hundred percent key answer or answer key that's it yeah that you're looking for because in the real life, there's there's no right or wrong answer. Again, I want to confirm that. And you see, usage count. So cryptographer should be <laughs> subject heading as well. And again, they illustrate the subject heading uh, library databases they use around the world with dashboard. It's quite easy to to balance or make a decision, right? Use the OCLC's classified database as a 
decision making tool. Okay. I, I want to summarize now <laughs> because it's a data. Use, please use classify, the classify database as a decision making tool to help you to assign uh, appropriate or proper subject headings or count call numbers for the users. Yeah, this is my, my point to make of, of you know, this introduction of classified subject. And Rehan, do you have any questions about uh, this tool? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Um, uh, with uh, within this book, so I do. Uh, I will take an example about it, like to uh, the Dauphin C code. So we determine the, the subject heading using this OCLC. Mm -hmm. So um, I realized that the the subject heading is a cryptographer and uh, blah blah blah. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, what if the librarian choose not the cryptographer because cri cryptographer uh, is like a, a wider so mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. we we choose the detective and mystery story mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. secret mm -hmm. society is it is it okay or or yeah yeah it's okay Rehan. again yeah you make a very good for you yeah I mean if we serve university student or college student. Uh, cryptographer should be okay, even have a you know, a, I would say high level terms. <laughs> you just, yeah. Oh. But yeah, but for I would say primary school or secondary school or high school, maybe detective and mystery story is okay because it's the terms that bookstore they use, right? Yeah. With your best selling the detective mystery. Oh, this is how attractive it is, right? You you want to <laughs> attract uh you know little kids or uh, even young readers to read that then. So cryptographer is quite serious, it's boring one. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> but if you, level. Yeah, if you are uh and you say literature student or humanities student, it's okay, right? It's okay. This is, oh, yeah, this is oh yes it, high level, you know, it's, uh, uh, if you say it's the advance of your knowledge to the cryptographer, but the VG course for general people or as a popular fiction, maybe, yeah, yeah. You, you are right. Detective and mystery story, you just present strong, right? G-E-N-R-E-E, -E. Uh, G-E-N-R-E, strong. If you say strong or even the, the aspect of the story, right? aspect of the story is that this is okay yeah. and many people they think what on earth you waste your time to you know aside cryptographer <laughs> because it, it's about you know fiction and novel read for fun read for pressure you know we just need to you have a you know uh strong that's enough right like a detective and mystery story that's a very good point but in another way for serious cataloger or serious professional, they say, oh, why you didn't tell the audience about a real subject, right? <laughs> the, the, the main contents of, of this is a crystallographer try to solve mystery, right? They, 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 they solve mystery, even main characters, right? So it depends, again, I will answer your question. It depends on your user. If mm -hmm. you work in the public library, or even uh, school library, I think detective and mystery story should be good, should be a good one. But if you work in the humanities library or even humanities information center, I think cryptographers should be suitable. Yeah. That's why they, 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 it's a simple way that it's quite more general, right? So, so it's not good for, Special library that that they, they have, you know, advanced knowledge in yeah. some kind of thing. Yeah, you you make a good point. So again, just use classify as a decision making tool for you, and you have to know well 
about your user my or your user preferences. It's, it's, it's a very important. I did tell the truth. I didn't have been trained that. I mean, standing in the, you know, user's shoes when I study undergrad program, right? <laughs> Our job is just finish and assign subject heading that sound right for our teacher, right? But in real life, wrong. And we said, this attitude. And, 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 and not, I don't want to blame my teacher, but uh, this is an uh, out of date attitude. You have to, you know, share together and guide you something, right? And look around what really happens to, to, to this field or to this area. And should be the last one, Rehan, and we still have, a, you know, another look at the uh, classified database and we say VIAF authority ring. Uh, I mean, says we try to control uh, formal names or official names of the author. And we can learn this again later when we're talking about linked data. This is very, very important uh, topic at the moment. I promise I will teach you and you know guide you to 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 a very interesting you know topic on that on this day now linked data. But anyway, for classified database, they use linked data as a you know a personal name, officially official personal names, right? Like uh, yeah. Again, when you're talking about Da Vinci Code. Uh, when you're talking about Da Vinci Code, you have a uh, author, right? Dan yeah. Brown, 1964 is <laughs> a uh, birthday. His birthday, and again, you we have a uh, translator, right? Uh huh. It's a uh, another role of the uh, of, of the, the the translate on 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 personal name translator, and again. When we're talking about linked data, Rehan and I just talking about, you know, language barriers, language barriers, you know, because subject headings language, right? And we have a different meaning uh, and a generation uh, from generation to generation, they use have a different meaning, different slang, they, they're surrounded with the context they use, according to you know society economics and technology or even political issues it's changed year by year right so it's a language barriers to conquer this barrier or overcome this barrier we use linked data by assign the id <laughs> like uh you know in the past, we try to uh, replace subject heading with call number, as Rayhan said. Do we? Right. We try to to replace uh, language, right, with number. Why? Because Arabic number is quite standard. Every people around the world they know Arabic number, and this is as well. And and now they apply computer science to you know automatic assignment of you know of id id number for the people okay and and, and then it's just just a uh, you know background and, and we we talk it later when we mentioned about linked data okay. so this is a uh, you know viaf and we have a uh, yeah you you can google it later if you're curious to know we have an uh, authority link so this is uh, confirmed by the expert, right? This is a formal number, a formal name of persons who, who have, uh, you know, creators of kinds of information, information creators, right? Like uh, Estrella, Quinn Cole, and Browden, and Rettenberg, Josephine, something like that. So they, they have uh, formal names of personal, even 
you know, that, that's the right you say we have a anonymous, we have a disguise name or even pen writer, right? We, we have that, some kinds of, you know, many variety of names, but our job is try to control vocabulary and let the user know that uh, uh, different number with different names is the same person. <laughs> okay. And, and, and again, we, we have a, another new concept is uh, linked data and we try to overcome language barriers, you know, try to link the same thing, even they have different description, right? Uh, different, uh, different terms as well. Okay, that is for our today's lesson. Any question, Rehan? Can you ask me that? But anyway, the, the homework, you, you just watch the video to review and yeah, to confirm. But anyway, if you have any queries, just let me know on line on open chat or even email. Yeah. Okay, I think it's enough. Oh, okay. I will learn by, by myself about submitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And again, yeah, it should be uh, a very good introduction to indexing yeah. and subject heading system. Yeah. Right? Also, this is a overview of this topic. And yeah, that's it for today. And Thank you so much, don't sir. forget to submit your homework. Oh, on yeah. Time. <laughs> Even oh, first course. assignment and, and quiz, right? A short quiz. Yeah. For today. Okay. And yeah, looking forward to your submission. <laughs> Lucky yeah. for your study. Yeah, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, sir. Okay, Kavreha. Bye bye, Kav. Bye.